Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rantway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 21st, 2021. Well, I'm back from vacation and I'm all rested up and ready to go here this morning. So hopefully everyone is um, ready to get ready for that um, Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Well, it's been a while, um, a whole week. Um, hopefully everyone's ears have healed up from listening to me before, and you're ready to dig in again. <laughs> Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, there was a significant improvement last week as those bulls came rushing in, and it's interesting to me that somehow we've found a way to use declining mortgage applications, rising producer prices, declining retail sales, and a much more hawkish Fed willing to sacrifice growth for uh, to combat, combat inflation. Kind of an interesting situation to rally on, but I will say that we were kind of oversold in the short term. However, this rally back now faces its, prob its biggest challenge. Breaking through a downtrend resistance is one thing. Now we have to prove that we can actually hold a higher low of support. And this morning, if you're paying attention to what's going on out there, we've had quite a uh, um, a bump up in those commodity prices and let's realize that really nothing has changed out there in the uncertainty here in the market. Let's notice we have some price resistance in this chart right in here to be concerned about and if those bears come back in we've created a really nice level of price support in the chart and that's going to be critical. If we rest or pull back in this market we want to make sure that we can hold that higher low and that's where we can really start to begin an uptrend. That's where the trend can actually reverse and start moving to the upside. If we were to fail up here against these resistance levels, that would be a problem for us, however. So we're gonna to wanna to watch that pretty closely and I'll show you some reasons why I do think there's a chance that we could see a little bit of a pullback. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also, breaking that downtrend here, pushing up through um, those resistance levels in the chart, but we still have to recognize the fact that we have significant price resistance levels in this chart chart just above and unfortunately a lot of work here yet to still recover from now if we get any kind of a pullback in this chart if we see that uh, those bears come in and pull us back a little bit due to those rising commodity prices we could maybe try and hold some support levels through here or maybe um, back down in this area and it's going to be really critical that we're able to hold some higher lows in the chart and let's take a look at those technicals I failed to do that on the diamonds but notice that we cracked through that 50-day moving average but doggone it there's that 200-day moving average um, at the moment and not exactly exactly the most bullish of situations on those technical patterns and I would say the same is true of the diamonds. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now QQQ, um, this has been one of those indexes that struggled and struggled and struggled a lot but we broke that downtrend last week pushing up but let's keep in mind we have these big levels of price resistance above that we're going to have to deal with in this chart and once again if we were to pull back from here let's watch some of this price levels of support through here to make sure we can actually hold those price levels of support and that would give us that opportunity to begin an uptrend we don't want to see that dipping right back down so right now the indexes have probably their biggest challenge that first surging rally back up is great it's a nice little relief but the real test is can we hold a higher low in the charts and that's yet to be seen so we'll want to watch that pretty close let's take a look here at our technicals in this chart and notice that little shooting star candle right there at um, our 50-day moving average 
we've got some issues here. Now, keeping in mind that we were up, futures were up substantially last night, but unfortunately what we're seeing is commodity prices are surging. Um, oil prices this morning are up uh, more than four and a half percent, and we have other uh, commodity prices rising pretty rapidly this morning as well, creating again that uncertainty out there in the market. And let's keep in mind the Ukraine situation. It's not improving. As a matter of fact, um, the fighting over there seems to be intensifying. So technicals here, not so rosy. Um, and watch those resistance levels in the chart. And then let's take a look at the Russell. IWM um, finally made that push. We held a nice little bottom in here, nice little triple type bottom in that chart pushing up through that downtrend finally. But one of the things we've still got to deal with is we've got to deal with that pesky resistance in the chart. And if we can get through that pesky resistance, well, we have a year's worth of, nearly a year's worth of resistance above that that we're going to have to deal with uh, to get on through. Now, it is nice that we pushed up through that 50-day moving average. And I would say that the Russell here has one of the better chances of producing what we call a rounded bottom bottom breakout. And that's where the shorter term moving averages start to roll up cross over and provide some price support underneath um, that 50 day moving average. And if we can actually hold that 50 day moving average as at higher low, then we have that opportunity to move on higher. So keep your fingers crossed that we can hold those levels. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX had a significant decline last week, um, which is nice to see that volatility dropping off a bit. And we did finally drop below that 25 handle here in um, the VIX, which is nice, pushing back down. Notice we've got quite a little bit of price support that was in that level. Now, as we look at this chart, we broke this uptrend. So that's also a good sign for us. The question really kind of remains is with the volatility of the market, will we bounce this back up in here? So watch that carefully. If those bears were to come in and push us back down here a bit to retest some of those support levels, um, watch for that possibility. Of course, if we can continue with those bulls can continue to push on through and I would I would caution you to think that the bulls are just going to race this market all the way back to the top because we have some major concerns out there as far as the consumer goes and the impacts on the economy um, are still pretty unclear so watch that close but if we can drop down into here that would be really really nice in that chart coming back into that 20 handle area so watch that closely but if we were to reverse in here someplace get back above here that's where we'd want to watch for that little hold of support let's take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 indicator unfortunately guys in that big surge last Last week t2122 is back up here in the bearish reversal zone we've kind of gone too far too fast to the upside and as you can see we've kind of done a lot of that recently where we whip up whip down whip up whip down and it just has been a seesaw now we had this little struggling price action in here and that was nice and that may say that the bulls are trying to stiffen up and gain some control here in the market but let's keep in mind we're up here pretty elevated in that t2122 now that doesn't mean that we necessarily have to fall um, what that means is that we could consolidate or we could see more of a lighter price action pullback and we have even lingered up here in these areas for a period of time so keep an eye on that um, this doesn't necessarily mean we crash back down but with the current price action that we've seen here recently, it certainly doesn't rule that possibility out either. So watch that carefully. And I would be watching for that possibility of a little rest or a little pullback here in the market. So just keep a close eye on that. And then if we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 saw a substantial improvement last week with 56% um, of the stocks getting back above their 50-day moving average 
average. And notice that we have the 40-day moving average. Notice we've broken that substantial downtrend here in the chart. But once again, we have that question in this downtrend as well. We have that question. Shooting up is one thing. Now can we prove to hold a higher low in that? And that's yet to be seen. So keep a close eye on that if we do rest our pullback here in our T2108. T2107, very much the same. Um, pretty substantial rally up in the chart. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough to get above that downtrend. But what we did do is we broke this level of resistance. That's a good sign. And we're testing this area right in here. So watch that closely. T2107, 36% of a, the stocks back above their 200 day moving average. So that is certainly an, imp an improvement, but it's also right at that point where we could see those bears come back around and fight just a little bit harder. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our T2101. Um, I had been suggesting that we were setting up per, for a pretty substantial move in one way or another. And what's interesting is that we got that substantial move to the upside, but notice our T2101. We didn't really get that momentum follow through in T21 that you would expect. So kind of an interesting situation. We'll want to watch that closely. And I think the reason that is the case, if we take a look, notice how actually in this big surging move up here, how light the volume was. Now what that might mean is instead of a lot of buying going on here, we had a big short squeeze uh, trigger in pushing any short traders out, the weak short trader hands out of the trade rather than actual buying. So that does make me a little bit nervous here that we could see those pullbacks occur. SPY volume, a little bit light. QQQ volume, a little bit light. So we we'll want to watch that closely. Was there really a concerted buying effort going on in these charts? And I'm just not 100% sure. Um, I think it was more short covering in these charts. So let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we're going to want to be paying attention to um, on this week. But today, oh my goodness, we have just a nothing day in here. Um, not much happening but some Fed speakers here for the next couple of days and some bond auctions. Now, one thing you do want to pay attention to is some of our short term bond yields are starting to invert. So you'll uh, it's the it's the short terms that are a problem right now. So we'll want to keep an eye on that if those short terms continue to rise. Um, but um, as far as the next couple of days go, very light on that economic calendar and then we're going to hit you know mortgage applications again new home sales petroleum status durable goods on thursday thursday is going to be our big day with uh, durable goods jobless claims and pmi composite flash and then we've got that doggone consumer sentiment that is tremendously low right now which doesn't bode well really for the long-term outlook for the economy unless that improves dramatically here so we'll want to keep an eye on that number on Friday as well as those pen, pending home sales. Let's take a look um, at our um, earnings calendar here today. And our earnings calendar, kind of an interesting situation. We have um, uh, over 70 companies listed on the calendar today, but unfortunately, a large number of those are not confirmed reports. So while we have quite a few on there, there's really not a lot of big movers here today in the market. However, we do have a couple that um, could really be influencing the market today. Let's take a look at Nike. Nike will be reporting today. Notice we're trying to breach that downtrend. This has been really down here in the charts, um, really ugly, and we're pushing into some price resistance in here. So let's watch that closely this could be an important report today keep an eye on that we're going to hear from um, mrns moderna will be reporting today looks like we've got a little bit of negative price action in there at the moment on moderna and this has been pushing um oh, excuse me it's not moderna what am i saying um um marinus pharmaceuticals um 
I apologize. And here we are pushing into that downtrend in the chart. So not exactly bullish here um, on the day. We'll hear from TME today. TME pushing back up into this downtrend. We'll want to keep an eye on that. So it's right there, price resistance. HRT um, will be reporting today. Not exactly a major notable, but it is nice to see after this thing IPO'd, it's finally starting to sh show some signs that it may stop going down, put in some higher lows. So pressing up, let's see if we can hold a higher low and then we might have an opportunity in that chart. And uh, maybe PDD um, is something to pay attention to here today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. Um, when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. You know, um, I've been gone an entire week and spent um, that entire week almost literally completely off of the grid, um, not even cell service. I was out hiking and um, I'll show you guys some pictures um, as we go along through the week. But um, had a phenomenal week here in the market and yet the channel continued to grow. So I am so thankful uh, for you guys and I truly, truly appreciate everyone who supports um, this channel and thank you so much. And if you guys um, want to continue uh, to support that channel, make sure you click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And of course, a big thank you to everyone who allowed uh, me to get the software and everything I needed to do uh, my first live training event um, on YouTube. And that's through the support of folks that um, use that link just below the title of the video um, in the Buy Me A Coffee. You guys are awesome. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that continue to show some signs of setup and places that I think we do have to continue to look. If we took take a look at energy. Now, energy took quite a little pullback here um, last week as we started to, you know, just just lay off a little bit of those high prices. But let's notice we're coming into some support levels in these charts and we're starting to push back up. Now, it will be critical if we can break that little tiny downtrend right now there and hold that higher low. Let's watch that closely, but we're seeing oil prices surge this morning. So I would keep a close eye on those. Energy has some upside potential still, I think, because let's remember all of these, all of these um, energy um, costs are continuing to rise, um, impacting those consumers. And so let's watch, watch those closely. Anything in that XLE, could have an opportunity for some upside move. Let's take a look at some of our uh, consumer um, staples and things like that, some of our defensive sector stocks. Take a look at Altria now. I, I will admittedly tell you that I have a bias here on this chart, but Altria continues to hold up in here in here looking pretty good and as we see our commodities continue to rise and rally um, what i'm really looking at on this chart is i'm looking at the weekly and looking for this longer term move we've broken this long-term downtrend we're holding these higher lows and i'm looking for a little bit of a longer term move here on altria but keep an eye on that i held that through uh, my entire vacation and um, still feel pretty comfortable in that chart at the moment. Take a look at um, some of the metals here. Whoops. Gold and silver. Now, gold and silver um, had quite a pullback here um, last week, pretty strong, and it needed to. It was kind of over overdone in the short term. Now, what's going to be important is if we find some places in here to find some support in the chart. If we can find those places of support, perhaps a little bit more rest, perhaps a little bit more consolidation, we'll want to watch for those opportunities for those to maybe move on higher. Um, I'm going to say the same in that silver 
silver pulling back now unfortunately silver lost this little level of price support in the chart and i've been mentioning how critical that would be for that to hold if it can get back up through there and maybe hold that area support then there would be an opportunity maybe to pick up something along there in silver if it fails here at this resistance we may actually see some short moves coming in some of these precious metals if that happens so watch that closely you might want to take a look at bond uh, bonds uh, bond yields bonds have been going down like crazy and we saw quite a pullback in bond yields here uh, just recently moving in, in this downtrend and I have a feeling that the and and it's really there's nothing supported in the chart here but I do think there is a chance that we could start to see those bond yields start to pull back a little bit here in the market because what we're seeing is a demand destruction in the market if you saw those mortgage applications um, last week they fell sharply and that's because of those higher um, interest rates and so the banks are going to find it difficult um, it may, may be too loan out there because we could see that demand destruction beginning to happen here and that typically lowers um, um, bond yields um, so let's keep a close eye on that not quite ready for prime time uh, just yet um, also take a look at some of these stocks that have been trying to come up out of these bottoms take a look at SQ now SQ um, this thing um, has done and did a nice job last week just surging back to the upside notice that little double bottom right there in the chart breaking through some resistance levels in this chart right here in that big surge now give it time Time to rest a little bit of consolidation a little bit of rest and then I'd be looking for some upside opportunity in charts like that take a look at um, FCX now copper while gold and silver were pulling back copper held up quite well and as you can see uh, moving in this upside trend so we pushed down had a little bit of a downtrending period right there in the chart pushing up if that can rest out over here into um, that trend then I would watch for that next opportunity into um, FCX so keep an eye on that you know there's been a lot of charts moving around pretty dramatically with the volatility but one thing I got to say is um, some of these charts are starting to show some patterns that are looking pretty good so when we start to see these patterns break out of these downtrends and stocks rising up um, on those levels we start to see that improvement in these stocks that have been down 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 so far um, for a long time so watch that closely and i'm going to have to use nike as an example of that nike is just one of those charts that has been um, beat up pretty hard here recently and notice that we're just starting to break that downtrend now if we can prove to hold that higher low you can see what that can create we start pushing up toward that 50-day moving average start bringing those um, um, short-term averages um, halting their decline at least so if we can create that little higher low we may be able to come up here and attack that 50-day moving average there's still a lot of work on these charts that have to be done to really improve um, improve them technically but I'm starting to see those little bit of signs that they may be starting to come around so keep a close eye on that now please keep in mind that I'm just back from vacation so I haven't had a chance to really spend a lot of time in the charts yet but that will improve as I go on throughout the week so everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you all the best thanks so much for being here today I truly appreciate it hopefully you got something out of this and I will see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning have a great day everyone